Now we'll move to the advanced uh, sensory exam of the upper extremities. The first part of this is to check each of the dermatomes with superficial touch and superficial pain. And um, I'm going to check each of the dermatomes and compare them one side to another to ensure that each feel about the same to the patient. And so what I'll do is, uh, Mary, I'm going to touch you on different parts of your arm, mm -hmm. and I want you to tell me when you feel me touch the okay. first time, and then with the second touch, if it feels the same. Okay. For any parts of the sensory exam, I will have the patient close her eyes. It helps to prevent distractions and helps me to say that she is actually feeling the touch as opposed to seeing me touch her. Now, if you can close your eyes, mm -hmm. tell me when you feel me touch. Yes. Same. All right, so what I'm checking is each one of the different dermatomes. That was C4 on the very top of the shoulder. Now I'll move to C5. Yes, same. All right, and that's checking on the outside of the elbow. Now if you can turn your hands over, Mary, mm -hmm. here. Now C6. Yes, same. And that's on the thumbs, C7. Yes, same. On the middle finger. Yes, same and that's C8, and that's on the little finger, and then T1. Yes, same. And that's on the inside of the arm. And now I'll move to superficial pain, and I'll demonstrate for Mary what this is gonna feel like. I've broken a cotton-tipped applicator, and I'm gonna use the sharper end, and Mary, you can, I'm gonna to touch you on your finger here, and that's what the, the sharper touch feels like. Okay. And I'll do the same thing where I'll ask you if you feel me touch you and then if it feels the same. Okay. All right. Yes. Same. So C4. Yes. Same. C5. Yes. Same. C6. Yes. Same. C7. Yes. Same. C8. And then inside of the arm. Yes. Same and that's T1. So those are the superficial touch and superficial pain sensations. The next part of the exam is uh, the vibratory sense, and I'm gonna check distally on one finger on one hand and then one finger on the other hand. As long as those are normal, you don't need to test other areas as well. So what I'm gonna do is just lightly strike the tuning fork against my palm to have it begin vibrating. Now Mary, you can close your eyes. Mm -hmm and tell me what this feels like. Vibration. And so I've asked the patient to tell me what it feels like because if she says she just feels pressure, then I know that her vibratory sensation is not intact. Now what I will do is I'll say, okay Mary, tell me when this stops. And what I can do is artificially stop the tuning fork. Stop. All right. And so Mary can tell me, uh, or I can, tell that Mary's vibratory sense is intact. Not only she could tell when it started, but when it finished. And I'll do the same thing on the other side here too. Notice I'm putting one finger underneath her finger. What that does is it transmits the vibration through her finger and I can tell whether her sense is, at, is intact because I can feel the vibration through her finger onto my finger. So now Mary, tell me when you do you feel, okay, and tell me when it stops. Stop. Okay, so again, vibratory sense intact of both upper extremities. Now the last part is joint position sense. And this is a very subtle sense for patients. So I'm gonna uh, tell Mary what it is I'll be doing and then check it. Mary, I'm gonna move your finger either up or down and this is gonna be up mm -hmm. and then this is gonna be down. Okay. It's gonna be more subtle than that. Because this is such a good sense, I can move very little of the finger up and down and Mary will be able to sense it. So you can close your eyes and then tell me what direction I'm moving. Down, down. Now I'm gonna repeat that on the other hand here too. Down, up. All right, and so she has intact joint position sense as well. And that concludes the advanced sensory exam of the upper extremities.